Violence is a real problem among young people in Pittsburgh, as we saw most notably when 11 were shot and two killed at a party on Easter Sunday. But there's a school on the north side offering young people another option. Manchester Bidwell Corporation offers after school and summer programs at no cost to kids and teenagers, and it's changing lives. I met the founder, Bill Strickland, almost 25 years ago and have been sharing his journey ever since. We recently talked about how it began and how it's now being replicated around the world. Everywhere you go, you're surrounded by art, beauty, and peaceful sounds. Not your typical school. But when Bill Strickland created Manchester Craftsman's Guild in 1968, he wanted a place where kids could escape the race riots and street crime in the same way that art changed his life when he was a troubled teenager on the north side. I had been jail or dead. Strickland had no direction until he met Frank Ross, who taught him ceramics at Oliver High School. I'm very grateful for the teacher. I'm very grateful for my mother because she raised me not to let race be a barrier against learning. Ross mentored Strickland and helped him attend the University of Pittsburgh. After graduating, Strickland started arts programs for students with the help of prominent Pittsburghers, including Elsie Hillman, the Mellon family, John Hines, and Governor Dick Thornburg. A lot of the students we come deal with are coming from very challenged environments. Some of them are poor, some of them are economically discouraged, and I figured out that if you put people in a nurturing environment and you give them good food and a lot of encouragement and a competent faculty, you can actually change the way they see the day. So rather than see the day as a series of disappointments, they can see the day as a series of opportunities. What's now called MCG Youth and Arts offers free after school and summer programs for kids and teens in ceramics, photography, fashion design, painting, and more. On top of that, Manchester has partnered with Bidwell Training Center since 1972 to offer vocational training in programs like culinary arts, horticulture, and medical technology. Strickland now focuses on spreading the message of how this model can work anywhere. It's already in 11 cities around the U.S. and Israel, with the newest opening in Greensburg this summer. In 2016, Bill and I visited the hospital where he had a double lung transplant after years of smoking damaged his lungs. That focused him even more on making a difference. So you better be serious. Every day matters. If you don't think so, wait till you're down to your last week of life, and every day will count more than you think. Manchester Bidwell recently named the building after Strickland to honor his legacy. But for him, it's not about recognition. It's about helping more people achieve the American dream. And I started dragging kids off the street to save their souls with clay. I'm still doing it. Yes, he still is. Now, Bill was very influenced by jazz, and he built a world-class auditorium and recording studio, and now MCG Jazz has five Grammy Awards. Coming up at 5 o'clock today, I'm going to talk with the new CEO about the future of the school and how it's meeting the modern needs of local businesses who are desperate for employees and helping local workers looking for a change in careers. That's coming up at 5.